So, in the previous video I did on this channel, we looked at um, the interview question uh, reverse a value using dot. Um, you may remember this code if you've seen the previous one. If not, I'll put a link hopefully in the video somewhere around here. I'm a bit unsure how to do this, but I'll, I'll work it out and link into that. But basically, this is the code that we wrote in that, and it's very simple. It just takes a number like one, two, three, four, and then reverses it to four, three, two, one. Very, very simple. But what we can now do, we can actually use this and extend on this and answer another interview question, and that's um, working out if a number is a palindrome number. So a palindrome is it can be a number or a word, but it's where when you reverse it, it's identical. So in numbers terms, one, two, one, one, two, two, one, one, two, one, two, one. These are all palindromes. It can be if you reverse them. They're exactly the same number again, and like with letters, it would be like A B A, you know, A B B A, etc. But we're only going to concentrate on numbers for this example. So, uh, and the good thing is we can actually use this reverse um, number code to reverse and validate if it is a palindrome. So, the first thing we want to do, we want to actually um, create the the function first. I'm going to create a new function and I'm going to call it it's a boolean return now I'll refer to my notes while I'm doing this just so it's not all in my head uh, and we're going to call it the function is pal and I have to remember how to this, spell this I'm terrible at spelling these things and what we're taking we're just going to take in an, an int uh, val view right so it's going to return a boolean to say yes it is a palindrome and no it isn't a palindrome and it's really simple all we're going to do we're going to say int um, reversed are you going to use the reverse value I'm not going to comment at the one above is equal to reverse number let's make sure I spell it correctly right and we're going to pass in our value yeah so that's going to give us the um, reversed value and then we're just going to return reversed are you is equal to Value. So we're going to say, is my reverse value equal to the value I passed in? So all I want to do is I'm going to commentate this line here because I, I, I no longer, or oh, actually just remove because I don't longer need that line, uh, this line here, sorry, because we're not actually um, doing that. But what we're going to do, we create a new Boolean and then go, um, is, uh, so we go number equal to is palin see this is what I say about the spelling there I want to make sure I spell it right palindrome is palindrome and then we say let's pass here one two three four to begin with first right and then we say um, print print it um, and then we go um, from a key Number is in Um Yeah, and then we just say um, dollar. To so say we want to print this in say braces, we go pallet in room number. Right, make sure I get everything right. There we go. Hopefully, I've got no spelling mistakes there. And then we don't need this last print here because we, we're not printing out as a reverse number. So the first one I'm going to pass in is one, two, three, four. So let's run that. And we can see that the numbers of palindrome is false because it isn't. It's one, two, three, four. So if I pass in one, two, one as an example, that returns true because that is a palindrome. And if I was to say one, two, one, Two, one, yeah, because that's also a palindrome. That returns true because it is. Just to show that it right. So if I just put a three on the end there, and I was to run it, saying false, and if I was to remove that and run again, it will turn true. And just to show that 
and let's, let's do this again just so as you can see a false over here just to show that it works on actually uh, not just odd let's actually make it an even number one two two one or um, as in number of numbers um, and we see that returns true and the same as if I went um, if I went to you know foo, 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 and it should also just return true so there you go using the existing function that we'd already created to reverse a number to check if it's a palindrome, palindrome literally create a new method and all you're doing you're reversing the number and then you're just actually comparing them and that's it it's that simple so if you ever come across an interview question uh, uh, to, to validate if a number is a palindrome this is how you do it in Dart and you should be able to get an idea how to do it in any other language from this. It's very simple. So that's it. That's another interview question. Thanks for watching and um, hopefully this is proven useful.